Thank you, thank you very much. Come on, Elvis. Hope you're all, hopefully you're all drained out now. Let's just bring it over here. Okay, there we go. There we go, sweetie. Now, stop it with the ah. Uh, seriously. It's just weird. It's really weird. <laughs> Especially when you understand what this goat meant to the Israelites. Because this goat meant the epitome of sin. It meant that everybody's sin, communal sin, was put on the head of this goat. This is where we get the phrase, the scapegoat. The scapegoat was the goat that they would put their sins on and send it out away. So our scapegoat is who we blame people on. That's who our scapegoat is. But this is a biblical term. It's when you would put all of your stuff, not your complaints and gripes and excuses on, but you would put your sins on the goat and it would be taken away and you would have a moment of having the gratitude and mercifulness of God where you just said, I'm releasing this. I'm letting this go. 